hey ladies welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is nelcy so today i'm going to be sharing with you all my top glute exercises that you should be doing to grow your glutes and i have a workout for you all so go ahead and take a screenshot of the screen now so you can save this for later so i'm starting off with squats so this is in no particular order on which exercise is the best. This is in the order of the workout. So I know you guys hear a lot of fitness influencers saying that squats don't grow your glutes, but believe it or not, it's backed by science that including squats into your glute days do help grow your glutes. They contribute to growing your glutes. They, might, they may not be the best or the number one, but I do recommend that you do them and not neglect the squat because they do target the glutes. So the glutes are targeted at the very bottom of the squat, not at the top. So the squeezing that we usually do at the top of the squat isn't really helping us in no way, shape, or form. So at the very bottom of the squat is when our glutes are lengthened and stretched, which is when it's being targeted. So you want to go deep into your squat, but as deep as your ankle and hip mobility will allow you to. So when it comes to the barbell hip thrust, that is one of the most popular glute exercises that we have. But the most, the misconception that I believe that a lot of people have is they think that they need to be lifting extremely heavy when it comes to this exercise. If you go light and really concentrate on the movement and really concentrate on your mind to muscle connection and contracting the glutes and feeling every single rep and also using a challenging weight and doing about 8 to 15 reps, you are going to see results. Okay, you do not need to be maxing out every week and lifting 400 pound hip thrust that you can't even rep do five reps of. It's it's unnecessary. So really just focus on getting the most of from every rep and really feeling them in your glutes. Next up, we have one of my favorite glute exercises, which is the barbell RDL or the dumbbell RDL. So if you want to feel this in your glutes a lot more, what you need to do is push your hips back as far as you can. So you want to push them back. You will feel them in your hamstrings, of course, because this is also a hamstrings exercise. But if you push your hips back, have that slight bend in the knees, not too much bend, because the more you bend your knees, the more you will feel it in your hamstrings. And the stiffer your knees are, the more you'll feel it in your hamstrings. So you really want to have the perfect knee bend, which is slightly and pushing your hips all the way back to feel it in the glutes. So if you've ever done a conventional deadlift, you can tell that they are completely different movements when it comes to the conventional versus the Romanian deadlift. Now with the conventional, we are focusing a lot more on weight, but when it comes to the conventional, the Romanian deadlift, excuse me, we are really focusing on the movement. Now with everything, the heavier you lift over time using progressive overload, you will see results. But I just want to put that across that you do not need to be lifting extremely heavy like power lifting heavy to see results. I just want to drive that into your mind. As long as you're progressing for what you are used to doing, you will see results. Now, next I have the Romanian deadlift again, using a dumbbell and I absolutely love this one. Now the barbell is fun too. I like it too, but I really, really just enjoy doing the dumbbell one. Now it's the same exact as you can see with this one. I'm not going all the way down. I'm going as far as my hamstrings and my hips will allow me to. So if I were to go even more, my back would start to curve and I would lose my form. So I don't want you guys to do any of that. Go as far as your hamstrings and glutes will stretch. <laughs> Next 
Next up, we have everyone's favorite, the dumbbell split squat. Now I know these hurt like hell, but the gains you will see from this, mwah, chef's kiss. So with this, I want you guys to have your front leg slightly forward, not too far back, not too far forward, and your torso should be slightly slanted, leaning forward. And at the bottom of that movement is when your glutes are, will mostly be active. So I want you to really stretch at the bottom of this movement. And at the top, we don't need to do any squeezing because again, just like the barbell split, just like the barbell squat, we are stretching the glutes at the very bottom of this movement. Next up, we're moving into some accessory work. So we have the cable pull throughs. And if I'm being honest, this is one of the exercises that I struggle to feel in my glutes. I'm not sure why, but today I decided to lower the weight and simply just focus on my mind to muscle connection. And I felt them in my glutes a lot more. And the higher you go in reps, the more you'll start to feel them. Now, this isn't an exercise that I would say is going to make a major difference in growing your glutes. It's not. So whether you do this exercise or not, you will still see results from the exercises we talked about previously. Next up, we have the cable kickback. And I want you guys to focus on my foot there and how it's slightly pointed outward because we are focusing on the gluteus medius here. Now, most of the exercises we just did focused on the gluteus maximus. This here will focus on the gluteus medius. Now, I do recommend this exercise, but do lower the weight and really focus on repping those slow and steady reps. And also make sure you're squeezing those glutes at the very top. Next up, we have my least favorite <laughs> but needed glute exercise, which are the glute hypers that you do on the back extension machine. Now, in order to get this to target your glutes, you're going to have a slight bend in your upper back about a 45 degree angle and please slow down your reps i'm doing this extremely fast because obviously they hurt but please slow down your reps and really squeeze those glutes at the top and over time you want to add some weight to challenge those glutes a lot more because progressive overload the more an exercise starts to get easier the more challenging you want to make it <laughs> 